Good evening, my name is Rachel. I'm one of the English A-level English language and literature teachers here at Long Road Sixth Form College and I'm going to be talking to you today about the uh, A-level in English language and literature. Um, I am one of the teachers who is a part of a really incredible team of teachers um, here at Long Road headed up by Emma Hartley, I'm hoping you can still see the slide, um, headed up by Emma Hartley and um, supported also by Hilary Reagan. Um, we, uh, if you if you would like to contact um, Emma, her email address is here, it's ehartley at longroad.ac.uk. So, Probably the first question you have about the A level in English language and literature is what is it that we study? So this course texts are listed here. You study um, four units in total, three of which are examined, one of which is coursework. The first, the first um, three units are poetry and prose, drama and non-literary texts. Poetry and prose, you will study an anthology of poetry from the pre-1914 pre poetry um, and that's from the sort of really 1500s onwards. So you get a really big range of quite traditional poetry. You also study The Colour Purple, which is by Alice Walker, which is an American novel. For drama, you study Othello, The History Boys, and for the non-literary text, we study spoken language and in cold blood. The genre studies, which is the coursework or non-exam assessment, you study two creative pieces with a critical study. So those are the texts that we teach at Long Road. So if you choose to come here to take English language and literature, these are the texts that you will be studying. I imagine the second question you have um, in this event is, right, what makes English language and literature different to just straight English literature? And that's an excellent question. If you were to just take English literature, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to be in the English literature talk just after this one, you will study texts in quite a similar way. It's all textual study. Um, you'll study Shakespeare and you'll study poetry, but you study them through uh, just a literary analysis. And by literary analysis, I mean you look at metaphors and imagery and a lot of terms I think you're probably really used to studying literature at school. If you study literature and language A level, you will be doing a literary study, but it will be integrated with a linguistic study. So the really exciting thing I think about the course is that you get to learn about how language works alongside some of the more literary devices we're used to, as well as studying things like context where a text comes from. Who was the person that wrote the text? So a really nice example of this would be Othello. Othello is a Shakespeare play. I'm sure many of you know that. If you study Othello in literature, you will be looking at the context of Othello because that's really important and you will be looking at it as a literary text. If you study English language and literature, you do that, but you also look at it as a spoken text. So you will be looking at the linguistic styles of Shakespeare as well as the poetic and literary. Similarly with poetry, it's really, really interesting because you start to think about poetry in a quite conceptual way but also quite a technical way isn't it interesting that the writer put this word here and what is that word and what is that word's function in the English language so as um, taking English literature and a level uh, English literature and language a level will give you quite a advanced set of vocabulary going forward for your further courses of study the other thing I think makes it quite exciting and fun is this down here, the creative pieces and critical essay. You get to write, OK? Yes, you do essays, but in English language and literature, creative writing is a really important part of the course. And from the very beginning of the course, you will be dabbling in creative writing. So I hope that answers that probably quite major question, what is the difference between literature and language? I would argue English literature and language is an extremely challenging and rigorous course. Um, and as you can see, you study a range of texts. And that's the other thing, you get to study a really exciting range of texts from quite um, contemporary, The Colour Purple, In Cold Blood by Truman Capote is true crime. 
So we get to think about that in quite a big conceptual way, but also traditional texts like pre-1914 poetry and Othello, and you look at it in a slightly different way. The course itself is 80% exam and 20% coursework. At Long Road Sixth Form College, you would be taking the EDUCAS syllabus. There are three exams and one coursework portfolio. We are a linear course. What that means is there are no public examinations at the end of year 12. This is really good in many ways because you have two years to study the whole course without interruptions like public exams. It's scary in many ways because you start year 12 and what you are learning at the beginning of year 12 is something you'll be taking an examination in at the end of year 13 with all that growth and development in between. I think it's a great opportunity to learn to become really organised. The notes that you take at the beginning of year 12 are your revision notes for the end of year 13. So it's something to be scared of, but it does require you to be really, really organised. The great thing about studying English in whichever form you choose to take it is it's all about your development as a person. So as you grow up between 16 and 18, you're going to grow with the course and you'll be able to reflect on things that you studied at the start of year 12, at the end of year 13, and they're going to look a little bit different. Um, I suppose another really, another really important question people might ask is, what do you need to do to be good at this subject at A level? And there is only one answer, and that's read really widely. If you are somebody that likes reading lots of different texts, and that might be plays, that might be screenplays, that might be you look at an advert and you think oh, that's quite an interesting uh, way that language has been put together, then this is definitely the course for you, um, as well as having a respect and understanding for the need to study more traditional texts also. But if the yeah, I can guarantee you will do pretty well at this course if you have a love of reading of any kind of literature. Um, I think a really interesting thing about studying at Long Road is this ability to mix and match. So yes, on the one hand, you can take three A-levels. You could take um, a diploma that would be 180 credits and you can also do a mixture of both. I have a young man in my um, one of my classes who I also teach media 60 credit to, so I teach more than one subject myself. Um, so I know that he's getting a really interesting experience because he's getting an A-level in English language and literature, but he's also doing a 60 credit diploma. And I think that's really exciting that you've got that uh, those options here at Long Road. Um, the opportunities to expand our learning into different forms are available, not right now, Obviously, we're not doing trips right now, but the great thing about studying for A-levels in Cambridge is there is a really vibrant theatre culture, which I'm sure will be back up and running very soon, as well as not being too far away from London. So you can see here that we had the opportunity a few years ago to take our students to see Othello at the Globe, which was obviously just an incredible experience to see the play you're studying. The amazing thing is there's so many cool filmed theatre versions of classic plays like Othello. We can still get the theatrical experience if not there. Um, as well as the students at, universe, at Cambridge University put on high quality performances. So the History Boys was performed at the ADC Theatre and um, there are often really, really good student versions of the text we're studying, particularly Othello. I love Othello. I think Othello is the best play to study, Shakespeare play to study at A-level. So I love that I get to teach it to the A-level students here. Um, where do our students go? Well, you can see an A-level language and literature is one of those A-levels that I think is quite foundational. It's useful to lots and lots and lots of different areas. I have a student who wants to do law, for example, and he knows that studying English language and literature is crucial for him to go on and study law. But as you can see, there's so many different things you can do. You can go on and do straight English literature. You could go off and do linguistics if you wanted. Um, you can do a range of degrees that are on offer. I personally did American studies at university and I know that my degree in American studies is really helpful in teaching English language and literature, but also is would be a really, really good A-level to do if you wanted to study something like American studies. We do quite a lot of really interesting American texts like A Colour Purple. 
our students go off and do really well. Here's three of our students who took A level language and literature. We have Zaheen, who's now studying at the University of Reading. Um, we have Alex, who's at the University of Liverpool, one of the best universities in the country. And we, here we have Chloe, who's got an apprenticeship. So she's using her language skills in a slightly different way. So we like to think that um, our students can go off and do pretty much anything they want. Uh, there are going to be more open evenings, I imagine more events, but what we would also encourage you to do is remember if you want to come and study here, which we hope you do, please make sure you get your application in by the 12th of January. And here are all the different ways that you can um, follow us. Uh, we're really lucky now because we have an actual real life living, breathing English language and literature student, the lovely Olivia, and I'm just going to get her up and hopefully Olivia. Um, I'm going to stop sharing this and then I'm going to share Olivia. Or not. Um, See if we can get Olivia. I would like to share. OK, I am unable to get Olivia right now, which is a real shame because. She could answer some of the questions. I hopefully be able to do that. If not, I have a few things that I was going to ask her that may be interesting for you to think about in the Q&A chat. OK, so a good question is why would you choose English language and literature? And I imagine it's some of the reasons I explored earlier. I bet it's the creative writing. I know a lot of my students do it because they get the opportunity to write. You will still study all of the kind of texts you study in literature. So if you're not sure that you're keen on a particular thing like poetry, you will be studying poetry. It will be a bit different to how you study it at school, I think, because it will be through the linguistic analysis. But you will be studying all the kinds of texts you study um, in literature but in a slightly different way. Um, I think a good thing. What advice would you give somebody who's going to be studying literature? Um, and language A level. And my advice is always to any student studying English of any kind or any student studying anything, read widely. The more the, you read, the more fluent you will be with a range of different texts, and it will just make this course of study so much easier for you and so much more exciting. Uh, a highlight of the course, I imagine, is that opportunity to be creative. Lots of our students want to be writers and lots of the teachers have experience of creative writing and can support students really well. This is a great course to do whatever you intend to study at university. You may have a really clear idea now of what that's going to be. That may be something you're still thinking about. It's a great course. It's foundational. It's going to support you in a range of different subjects. I hope that I've been able to answer some of the questions you probably had. Um, I hope that I've given you a clear overview of what the course is like. I'm trying to see if I can get Olivia. I am unable. Is that Olivia there? Yeah. Hi Olivia, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to share you. But I am not sure if that's oh, what I've done is um, created a multiverse of myself instead. I'm hoping if we have this quick conversation, people can hear you. They I'm should be able to. Uh, they should be able to hear you. OK, really quickly, Olivia, um, how uh, what is it that you really like about studying the course? What made you choose this course? Um, I chose English literature and language because I actually wanted to do the creative writing mm -hmm. coursework. Mm -hmm. so um, and the creative writing, as I imagined, was going to be a top top pull. Yeah, I um, I chose it because um, I like studying and analysing books and all that, mm -hmm. but I really, really enjoy the literature um, language side of yeah. it. Good. OK, and what's something you've learnt that you wouldn't have learnt in a literature A level, do you think? Um, our topic on spoken language was really interesting when you learn about the way that people speak and the different terms you use to um, talk about that. Amazing. And um, can I ask Olivia what you're planning to do next? Um, I'm going to go to university and hopefully use my A-levels to uh, write 
fantastic essays. Okay, and what are you going to study? What's your um, degree choice going to be, do you think? I'm going to study photography. I'm so photography. English lit and lang is going to be really helpful when I write essays on how I take photos and stuff. Your creative process, I think is yes. what it's called. Okay, Olivia, thank you so much. I hope that everyone's able to hear Olivia. Um, I'm sure you'll put in the chat if you couldn't and I will uh, take that feedback going forward. Um, I know that somebody's going to be answering your questions in the chat. They probably are right now. I do hope that I've given you a clear picture of the course. If you have any questions, do email ehartley at longroad. Um, Dot ac dot uk, but also have a look on the website because we have quite a lot of information there. I hope that you have a really informative evening and it was lovely to get to tell you all about my subject.